data mining classes module 1 in this video we are discussing about the OLAP and the OLTP what are the difference between OLAP and OLTP and also what is OLAP and what is OLTP what is OLAP that is online analytical processing that is the topic related to our data warehouse what is OLTP online transaction processing okay so the online transaction processing is contained operational database our traditional normal database let's imagine that this is the banking software so each day there are transactions and all are here we are storing all the transactions so this is the OLTP online transaction processing so after one month Lots of data are there in one database. The next month's other database are there. Like the like, so the lots of databases the bank are keeping. Okay, so this all databases we are storing in a data warehouse manner. So lots of databases are there, and other some details are there. Other log details are there. All all are there in the data warehouse. That so that is for analysis purpose. Then we analysis purpose. Then we can moving to online analytical processing so online analytical processes means we are analyzing all the details of this data so for what we are doing online analytical processing for decision making if that bank is approaches as for so we are the data analyst approaches as for something to do for business improvement so we are all so our aim is to so our first step is to store all the databases and all other detailed informations and making a data warehouse then we are analyzing for what we are making a decisions for this particular business okay so this is a working of OLAP and the OLTP these are like a circle for in the transaction processing loads of databases are there all that historical data we are storing together and making a data warehouse then we are analyzing and we are giving some valuable information to our client for decision making that is OLAP and OLTP let's see the difference between the OLAP and OLTP so OLAP means the data warehouse OLTP is related to operational database so it OLAP involves historical processing of information but the transaction that is operational databases involves day-to-day -day processing OLAP systems are used by knowledge workers such as executive managers and analysts okay so the OLTP system based basically used for the used by the clerks DBS and or other database provisions are using OLTP. So this is for useful in analyzing the business. So this OLTP is for running the business. Is it? It focuses on information out. That is we are analyzing and we are making an information with the help of the data warehouse and we are publishing into the business form for better performance. It focuses on data in we are storing all the transactions we are make, we are receiving do, lots of lots of transactions day to day so based on the star schema snowflake schema and fact constellation schema we are describing OLAP OLAP details here the ER relationship models are we are using contain historical data this contains current data that is all TP contains current data it provides summarized and consolidated data. It is primitive and highly detailed data is there in the transaction processing database. Provides summarized and multidimensional view of data. Provides detailed and flat relational view of data. All the flat like a 2D form like a table we are viewing all the details in OLTP. Here the multidimensional viewers more prefer for OLAP number of users is in hundreds but it is number of users in thousands because all the normal clients are normal pupils are using the OLTP and all this data are saved in a data warehouse and it is only used for hundreds peoples like our executives managers analysts etc number of records accessed in a millions it is accessed in tens like day-to-day 
details are the so small small details are small number of details are there for OLTP that is in day to day activities small small details are the small number of details are we are aggregating so for the data warehouse we all such type of transactions are we are aggregating and we are making a huge database okay so the database size is from 100 GB to 1 TB here only 100 MB to 1 GB this is highly flexible provide high performance okay so it is based on the performance it, it should be in a flexible manner because we want to analyze all this data so these are the common difference between the OLAP and the OLTP that is our data warehouse and the operational database.